Hi, my name is Khadija Khalid and you are welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, please subscribe to the channel and if you have been sticking around with me, thank you. Today I am at the Young Urban Women Movement Action A Center and they are organizing a skills training for young women and today is all about uh, making different type of soaps. So we have the Russia Bomb or the Azuma Blues, Bathing Soap, Detergent and then Bleach. So that's what this video is going to be about. Stick and stay. I bet you haven't seen how your household cleaning agents are made. To make bleach, you need chlorine or what we locally call akesha and soap base, caustic soda and then soda ash. Three of the soap bases are added into a big barrel and it was explained that the soap bases are solely added based on your thickness preference. This is followed by three cups of chlorine which we locally call akesha and also followed by six cups of soda ash then one fourth of a cup of caustic soda is also added Water is then added and stirred for about 3 to 5 minutes to form this mixture and it is left to stand for about 24 hours that is at least. Ideally it's supposed to stand for like 4 to 5 days so that the substances in the mixture can dissolve properly. The next day, the dissolved mixture is collected and water is added if it is too thick, whilst the undissolved mixture is still left to stand. It is then bottled or packaged for use. The next product to be made is washing powder. In this bowl is a mixture of 2 cups of soda ash and 1 cup of rice powder. This is followed by one base and it is mixed together for about 3 to 5 minutes. The mixture is then sun dried. Meanwhile, a handful of the mixture is taken and color is added and that is also dried separately. So when they are all dry, you can add the colors now to the entire mixture. So if you have realized some washing powders have these tiny speckles of color in them. So this is how it is made. One of the trainees then tested if the washing powder would ladder and it did. It smelled really nice as well. This process you are currently seeing is caustic soda being dissolved and a safety precaution is that you have to use only plastic containers because this mixture is very hot. And because it is hot, it is left to cool for about 24 hours or left to stand overnight. This mixture is going to be used for the making of bar soaps. This pot of palm oil is also left to boil the entire day and it is also going to be used to make bar soaps. This soap that is named after Ghana's finest boxing champion Azuma Nelson the Azuma Blue soup is made using just three ingredients that is palm oil kaolin powder and then caustic soda solution this is stirred and molded into balls looking like long tennis balls Thank you. 
To make bar soaps, you need palm oil, the palm oil that was left to boil, caustic soda solution, and then any perfume of your choice. So these three are mixed together and then poured into a square rack and left to dry in the sun. After drying, it is cut into bars using this manual tool that requires a lot of manpower. The bars are then shaped using this manual tool and I find this process very oddly satisfying. To make bathing soap, moringa extract is added to the palm oil. Other ingredients such as aloe vera extract, honey, camel antiseptic and hydrogen peroxide are also added. You can add other ingredients of your choice that you feel will help your skin such as vitamin E. The mixture is then stirred. perfume of your choice and caustic soda solution is then added instead to form your bathing soap mixture. After that, it is transferred into these plastic containers and left to dry before use. So this is how your cleaning agents are made. If you like this video, kindly give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Those are you, Khadija. If you don't know, when you get pregnant, watch out for this soap. I will do it only. Azuma, Azuma blows. blows. <laughs> this kind of soap. I All soap so for you. Your, your, your daughter, your son will use it to wine here.